Hello friends! We have made it to number 23 out of our 1001 tarot spreads. Today we are answering the question, should I continue trying to convince my spouse slash partner to go on vacation with me, or should I just go by myself? Today's reading we are using the Mythos Tarot. It is a two card reading, and we are using the full deck. Let's get into it. So when would you need a spread like this? Clearly it's about vacationing, and when you are having disagreements with your significant other or the person you want to go with you. Like most two-card readings, this is a compare-contrast of should I just go by myself, or do I continue trying to convince them, possibly revising plans to make that happen. So we're going to shuffle the deck, and we will see what the Greek gods have to tell us, as this deck is themed after all the Greek gods. All right. I'm going to shuffle one more time because that one was kind of sloppy. Oh, that was much better. Okay. So, our first card for going by ourselves. And then the second card for... Oh, okay. That's a strong message. Okay. First card, going by yourself, is the Queen of Swords reversed. Circe. If you are familiar with Circe, you know why I went, hmm, that's a strong answer. Particularly since the second card, the trying to continue to convince them, is the Eight of Cups. Sharon. Two really, really strong personalities in Greek mythology. So, for the going by yourself, base tarot meaning, Queen of Swords, is the person who has conquered their challenges. Usually a woman, but, or just feminine energy, has mastered their challenges. Being tied to Circe makes a lot of sense in this context. As far as an answer to this question, going by yourself, there will be problems if you try to go by yourself. Just from a logical standpoint, uh, your relationship is going to have problems because you're not on the same page. Looking at the mythological aspect of this, of the, of the context of Circe, in this. Circe always went her own path in the myths. She didn't particularly follow what the other gods wanted. She was very much her own person. Being in the reversed state, where Circe is a strong woman, a strong agent in her own life, there is the possibility of being too extreme in your independence. Circe ended up very unhappy in the end of her tales. Well, no, I shouldn't say unhappy. There were consequences to her being so independent that affected her entire life. Look at the emotional reasons why this vacation is so important to you. And are you trampling over your partner's feelings in this. Okay, card number two. The Eight of Cups is about discovery, about often travel, um, of not necessarily physical travel, but could also be internal journeys of discovery. It's interesting that they paired this with Charon, because he is the the final journey that people... He's the conductor of the final journey. He is the ferryman who takes the souls of the dead across the river Styx into the underworld. Being reversed, you're lost. Continuing to argue over what to do on vacation is only going to cause more problems. You could consider slowing down, thinking a bit, 
find some way to get on the same page. Those who did not pay Charon the the coin to cross the river ended up wandering the shores of the river Styx forever. They never reached the other side. They never reached their final resting place. Continuing to argue about a vacation is going to make it so that even if you do go, it's going to be a miserable experience. You'll just be wandering, lost, a shadow of yourself, instead of being fully present and enjoying it. So when I take these, these two cards together, neither of these cards, neither of these figures in Greek mythology are bad. They just, well, in the case of Circe, she would, she had her own desires and her, her plan of what she wanted. In the case of Charon, he had a job to do. Both sometimes showed up as antagonists, but not as malevolent forces particularly. Uh, you could argue that Cersei was pretty malevolent sometimes. But what I'm getting from this is that you need to communicate, but actually communicate. Listen to your partner. Listen to what they want, their reasoning behind it. Seek some form of compromise. If you have been enjoying these readings, go ahead, leave a like, comment, and if you've really liked them, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when new videos come out. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.